Billy. What are you doing? I'm trying to be in center. Where this is in center. <laughs> like, you're trying to be in center? This would be the center. Hi, everybody. Janet doesn't know this is the center. This is the side. I am on the side. She's on the side. But somehow she's trying to center herself. Hi, Hi everybody. everybody. I'm Janice. I'm James. And we're, we're on Stable, Stable Culture. Culture. If you already haven't guessed. Yes. <laughs> Guess what the name is called on sale? Can you? Can you? But this is our Tuesday check-in video. If you're new to the channel, what we do is we give you an update of what goes on um, the previous week for us on our mental condition and what we did to help us cope throughout the week. Um, if you are familiar with the channel, you already know what is going on. And, um, we do this every Tuesday, so if you are new, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, the bell for notification, so you can get more of our Tuesday check-in videos, and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so as you saw in our last Tuesday check-in video that Janice did by herself, um, we've had a, quite a rough time. My father passed away on the 17th that night, um, and it was very sudden. Um, so, yeah, uh, we were out heading to go to a location to do some astrophotography. Uh, stunt constellations and stuff like that, and got a text from my mom, and had to rush, turn around really quick, and rush to the hospital. Um, that's when we found out that he passed away. Um. And um, as you know, that last Tuesday's video, yes, I did it by myself. And if you are already aware of my situation about my grandmother, um, it too also happened that Tuesday right after I was done while I was actually filming the Tuesday check-in video. Um, that And after I was done with that, that's when I found out that uh, she had passed away. Um, so yes, last week was very rough and hard for the both of us. and. We did try our best to use our coping skills as much as we could, but it was really kind of hard for us to do that, especially for me with, if you already, if you already been watching our channel, you already know some of the other stress that has been going on um, within the family here at the house um, that just added to the way that we were feeling last week. And um, Tuesday and Wednesday were pretty much the hardest time for me because trying to figure out what our kids was going to be doing, what my parents were going to be doing, and what we were going to be doing. Um, we didn't know full details until Wednesday. It, around 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon that um, on uh, for my grandmother about the funeral and the viewing and it didn't give us much time to really prepare. My grandmother's funeral was on Friday so just bear with me everybody if I am getting a little bit emotional because yeah, my mental state's not all yeah, we great. Just, we just got back from Texas um, last night um, we, and everything like that. So yeah, it, it was, as she said, we didn't have a whole lot of time and everything like that. Um, and it was very much one of those things where we drove down there Thursday night, uh, Thursday, afternoon afternoon got there Thursday night 
Friday morning had to get up and go do basically family luncheon, then the service, then the actual burial um, and all that stuff. Um, so it was a very much just boom, 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 boom thing that we had to do. Yes, and it was rather, rather hard, especially um, I did try to distract myself a little bit by taking some photos when we were at the service, before the service even started, and I did a little bit of video, and I didn't do any photos or video um, when we were over at the burial site, um, because at the time I wasn't really thinking straight, and little upset in regards for some people just messaging while they knew what was going on. Yeah. Which, if you've watched our previous videos, you can guess who. Um, yeah, this last, I mean, her grandmother, <coughs> I mean, as well, I didn't know her super well. I'd only met her twice before. But she was a very sweet lady, very welcoming, made me feel welcome to the family, which was something that um, not everybody does. Um, but it was tough just because of the fact, but it was extra tough in regards to the fact that, yes, I just lost my father, and then this whole thing just went into rush mode. So I, part of me was feeling like my, what happened in regards to my dad passing away just got shoved aside and also also feeling like I those are the feeling of well my mom needs me you know and everything like that because of what she's dealing with and everything like that and all that I mean this year was their 44th anniversary um, you know and everything so yeah I mean it's just everything was just went into high gear and I just still haven't fully processed everything that's going on with my dad, so being down there and dealing with that emotional situation and trying to be as much of a rock for Janice as I can and everything and still trying to process and trying not to completely break um, and have an episode, in which I did have a little bit of an episode on the drive back yesterday. Um, and which was scary because I was driving and I went from I wasn't in the car and I don't know how long I was driving but I went when what happened was I was having an episode where I wasn't in the car I was at home and I was getting into an argument with my sister and everything and I thought that was what was going on and then Janice had said something which kind of snapped me out of it but I was behind the wheel we were on the highway and it was a very scary thing for me yeah the way that I brought him back because of the way that he was breathing it was that um, I don't know how to really describe it but it's that aspirated sigh of frustration and anger of something going on and I asked are you okay and that snapped him right back and he told me what was going on and I said okay alright and I let him just keep telling me a little bit until he was ready to fully tell me what was going on and um, yeah this weekend was very hard because we were trying our best to be coping and yes um, one of the copings that James did this weekend was playing Dragon Quest Builders 2 and just focusing on whatever he was building on his island. And My I great did Paul of Japan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he made a wall. <laughs> made a gigantic wall. Not a little wall, a massive wall. <laughs> um, maybe later on we'll show you some videos of stuff that he has done for his Dragon Quest Builders 2 on his Switch and show you some of the stuff that I've done on my Switch as well. 
but that was one of the things that was kind of keeping us grounded while we were there, um, especially on Saturday. Um, Saturday was a little bit um, on the happy, trying to be on a happier note because my cousin's um, youngest baby had their first their first birthday party. She turned one years old on Saturday, and it was also my aunt and uncle's anniversary. And so it was a hap supposed to be a happy anniversary for them. They forgot. Like, they literally totally forgot. Like, one of them was sitting there and like, wait, today's our anniversary. What? Are you sure? Yeah. Like, it was one of those things. Like, they literally completely forgot. I mean, everything was so chaotic, they just totally spaced out that they'd forgot. Um, and... So yeah, it was quite entertaining and everything like that, and um, they're really great people. Um, they've, always, they've always made me feel welcomed um, and everything like that, and, and you know, and uh, they're just really nice people. They're really good people. So well, happy anniversary, late one. Even though I told you <laughs> online, <laughs> online and face to face, basically. <laughs> so happy anniversary to them. Yeah. And, but yeah, we've, I tried as much as I can not to have any of my episodes where I had some of my personalities try to come out. Um, one did kind of come out during the, uh, the service, however. I, most instances, obviously, I, I recognized that and made sure that she, you know, that it didn't affect the issue and it didn't cause any problems, so. But, yeah, it was, it was long, it was, but the way that it ended up going is, once we found out when the funeral was, um, that last Wednesday we ended up going ahead and renting a vehicle so that we can go down because um, we figured it would be too, the cost would be too much for us to fly down and then rent a vehicle and then. It was just, it made it simpler for us to, to, to do that, to just go ahead and rent the car and drive. That way we had our own car down there instead of trying to fly down there and then rent a car and drive. It was literally a four-hour difference between. Actually, it wouldn't. It was a four-hour difference between the driving because in Lubbock and trying, you know, flying into Dallas, renting a car in Dallas, and then driving to Lubbock is basically a four is five out almost five hours. Where driving from here down to Lubbock is roughly about nine, a well, little not roughly nine hours, depending on how many times you know stopping and all that kind of stuff. So. It was literally just a four-hour difference, and it was, you know... Uh, it just made it, was, it easier for us, because... Didn't have to worry about, you know, bags and all that kind of stuff. We just threw all the bags in the car and headed down. And, yeah, with all the stuff we took, it was, you know, we took seven bags. Um, we took all of our camera equipment, almost. Yeah, we took our iPad, she took her, lap she took her laptop, we took both of our switches, we took the camera, the accessories, the tripod, the Ronin, um, all that stuff got taken down there. Um, didn't take the lights. Yeah, didn't take the did. lights. Like, yeah, <laughs> that not sure was what just That would have been weird. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys, everybody hold on a second. Let's put some lights up so we can take some photos. <laughs> but, um, as you guys can tell, we're doing a little better, obviously. I mean, I couldn't have done last Tuesday's video. I was a wreck. Um, I, it would have been so much worse if I would have tried to do that. Uh, so, yeah. We both are dealing with loss and our grieving process. And the grieving process can take long. It's... If anybody, if, if any of you've lost a, a, a loved one, especially like a parent or something like that, you definitely understand that 
it's not easy. I mean, and the way it happened with my dad was, it was sudden. It was so quick and everything. And it was definitely not easy to, but going down there was a challenge, just in general, because, you know, it's not a situation that makes me feel comfortable. Um, not all of the family is, is accepting of me in regards to that, and, you know, I don't know a lot of them, and I'm horrible with names, and, you know, and the people that I did recognize, I didn't recognize, I don't remember their name. Um, and tell you know, and all that, and everything was, it was just a very situation where I normally feel alienated anyways, but going through, trying not to completely lose it while in that situation. So it was, yeah, that was all going on. While we're still in the grieving process, our check-in videos may be a little bit shorter than what they are. Um, and I do want to say to all my family that I do love you guys and miss you. And it was good to see all of you, even though it's not in the best uh, situation but for all of my family love you guys and yeah I mean yeah, uh, my family we haven't gotten together or done anything for my dad yet we're still waiting to get his ashes um, and that's going to be really hard for James yeah cause don't know what's going on with that yet we're still you know my sister's dealing with that I guess but for now um, just to let you know anything that's going to be coming up um, we have some videos that are still in the excuse me in the work in progress um, one of the things is we did a reaction video for the PS5 reveal, I'm going to get that up as soon as I can. Um, did have it somewhat up and then it got completely blocked because some music <laughs> content. Yeah, because it was just, yeah. <laughs> so, re-editing the video without that music content. Um, but I'll have that up pretty soon. Um, the... And then there's going to be some other videos that we're going to be posting up. Um, on the way back, we shot a video for, um, we stopped over at the Great Sand Dunes in, um. Yeah, we went to the Great Sand Dunes. She'd never been. I'd been once before a long time ago. Um, it is a, if you've never been, if you've never been to Colorado, it's the craziest thing because, it's this giant, like, it's beach sand, but it's like when you think when you think of like the Sahara Desert and these giant rolling sand, you know, sand dunes. It's literally that, but it's in the middle between. It's nestled right up to two mountains, and then a big field, and there's even a lake on the back side, way back side of it. So it's this crazy thing that just doesn't make any any sense whatsoever um, to see, and it is stunning and utterly amazing just to, to, you know when you, if you would and all that so yeah so we stopped there for about an hour and took video uh, video and some photos and then on the way back I was doing little crazy shots while driving and trying to capture what I can inside the uh, car that we had rented it was a nice mm -hmm. car, actually. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, we'll have that up, and those of my family who are watching, um, I will be working on trying to get all of those videos, the video that I took of the funeral and photos up as soon as I can, so, um, 
And if any, and well, obviously, if someone saw, wants us to send them to them directly, they can con you know they know how to contact us. So yeah. Um, but I'll also. I post some of that on. I did already say that, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. I okay. know we're right, we're running around in circles. Yeah. So at this moment, um, look forward for any of the upcoming videos. We do have some unboxing videos that we are um, going to be doing, and um. In October, we're going to try again to do some astral photography again. Uh, <clears throat> and some more full moon shots of a pl at a place that uh, we found that was supposed to be great to uh, it's, do that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's sort of at a certified place. So. Here in Colorado. So, yeah. Uh, and... Um, Starting on Wednesday, I will get back into doing my streaming to help with what I'm going through and really start cracking down on trying to finishing some of the games that I've not uh, played and finishing the Assassin's yeah, Creed game. You got just a little over a month <laughs> <laughs> for your little goal. <laughs> My goal has turned into a quick, big goal, so I might actually be doing a lot more streaming um, here pretty soon on Twitch and everything like that. Cause yeah, if you want to finish all the Assassin's Creed games up until up to the yeah, up to, uh, to Valhalla, Valhalla, you got a lot. Yeah, <laughs> not counting Origins and Odyssey are huge. Yeah. <laughs> so that is um, some of the stuff that's going to be going on and that we're going to be doing. So look forward for those kind of stuff. Um, we'll keep you updated, posted, and hopefully things should kind of get back to somewhat normal. <laughs> Try to figure out our new normal around here is going to be fun. Yeah. Because, yeah, obviously, uh, yeah. Normal. What's normal? I don't know. I don't know what normal is. But, yeah, so, hope, you know, just keep an eye on that, and then, yeah, hopefully we'll keep you updated with everything else that's going on and what we've been doing to cope and and as you can see James is doing one of his coping skills of just keeping his mind occupied by looking at different things on his iPad I'm and looking at toys <laughs> toys that you won't ever play with <laughs> they do not they, they, they don't get played with because it doesn't matter they get, you get to look at them they get displayed. They get displayed. But that is our... Um, That's our update. <laughs> that is our update. So um, I'm going to also be working more on getting some stuff updated on Facebook and changing things around on Facebook a little bit. So, and keep an eye out for that. Um, more updates that we do, you'll see that on our Facebook page. The links will be down below. And again, go ahead, like and subscribe, and ring the bell for notification. And that's going to be it for you guys today. But we'll talk to you next Tuesday. Bye! Bye.